cause to pause because it makes you better. That's what I want to talk about here. You know, we get caught up practicing, and I don't know if it comes from maybe uh, watching too many Rocky films or, uh, you know, sports things, nothing against those guys, but, you know, the coach is always saying, hit it, now hit it, now hit it again, now hit it, you just keep on hitting it. And you can't do that on a musical instrument. You can't do that with music because what you're going to do is you're going to practice it. You're going to play it. It'll be wrong. You'll play it wrong, play it wrong, play it wrong. And what you're doing is you're practicing to play it wrong. So what I, what I want to encourage you to think about and try is to play something and then stop. Stop and sing it. Stop and think it. Stop and pause. Even stop and don't even try to think about it. Just stop and relax. And then try it again. There's a great little video. I hope that uh, I can have the link on the description of this video so that you can see it. It's a little mouse. And I got it, by the way, fantastic blog, uh, The Bulletproof you Musician. Go, go uh, sign up for it. It's a great blog. Do it. Just do it. But um, he, uh, he has this video in one of his blogs. It's a little mouse trying to get a piece of cheese. And uh, he's trying to get it up this little wall or this little step or something. And uh, he tries, he tries, he tries, he tries. And then you see him stop. And you think that he's giving up, that he's actually getting ready to just walk away. But what happens is he stops on the top of the step, and he just pauses there. Suddenly he jumps down, grabs the cheese, boom, right up the step, and he's gone. Okay? And so uh, I believe that there's just something there in our, in our mind. There's so much going on, and this is not easy to do, by the way, on video. Um, maybe if I could get this recorded when I don't know there's something on and that I'm going to have to be saying something or something like that because there's a lot going on. But if you can clear things out of your mind um, after you've been trying something, uh, Charlie Bird Parker, the great uh, saxophone jazz player, Bird Parker, um, Yardbird, he, uh, he would say, learn the changes and then forget about it. Forget about it. So uh, stop, don't practice wrong, don't practice playing it wrong, practice stopping, thinking about it, and then when you get it right, then you can just pound away at it until it's smooth and nice. Okay, we've had a long pause here, I've uh, been working on this pattern, it's not a completely new thing to me, but it's, it's something I'm you know trying to work up. So okay, I've talked to you now for about two or three minutes. I'm going to try to play it again. Same thing that I started this video on. I hope I don't embarrass myself too much, but okay, here we go. A little better. But what I would do if I was practicing is I wouldn't say, ah, and then, boom, jump right back onto it. Stop, think, try it. Try it out. Leave me a, leave me a message. Send me something. Let me know if, you, if I'm blowing smoke. I think that I'm on target here. 